Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, the COVID edition. We're talking about COVID and seeing how people are surviving in, in, in the world today. Remember, it was uh, going to be two weeks, I think, of uh, isolation. Well, today's the sixth anniversary of those two weeks, so we're still isolated. Uh, we're reaching out uh, to people who are still functioning in society, still have things going, uh, doing good deeds in society, surviving, uh, so we could be inspired by them and keep going ourselves. Our next guest is the president of the Fresno Association of Realtors and the host of a radio show called, ah, dang, I forgot already. We'll just bring him in, Don Scordino. What's the name of the radio show? Welcome Home Radio. Yeah, what station is that on? 940 AM. Right. It's an ESPN station. Right. And Saturday mornings, 9 to 10. I keep thinking of it as a new thing you're doing, but it's been a long time now that I think about it, huh? Yeah, we've had a longer run than Seinfeld, Cheers, yeah. all of that. Yeah, 13 wow. years. 13 years, yeah. Now, so it's I, new. I want to talk to you about uh, you have some good deeds going on, helping to build a house for veterans and stuff. Let me ask you just real quick about the real estate industry. Is it still going with COVID? Can people buy or sell a house? Surprisingly, it is hot. It's a hot market. And six months ago, I would have told you, oh, man, we've been hit with a ton of bricks. Yeah. But um, I think people have a new appreciation for what a home is. Yeah. And there's a lot of people wanting to upgrade their home now, you know, now that it's their workplace. It's also yeah. their um, I didn't school. think of that. It's their home and workplace and their school. Yeah. Yeah. And interest rates are so low. Yeah. They're almost like a couple per two or three percent. huh? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a bad time to buy a house. It's actually a really good time. And to sell a house, too, because you're saying they go like that right now. Oh, yeah. They can't. If they're presented properly and priced properly, it, it'll sell very quickly. And I'm talking inside of 30 days, n not longer. Yeah. If you're thinking of buying or selling a house, call Don Scordino. <laughs> What's but, your company? Uh, I'm at Realty Concepts. Realty Concepts, yeah, yeah. that's a pretty cool, cool company. Now, and I want to get to this big project you're doing, building a home for veterans. But Welcome Home Radios on FM 940. AM. AM, AM 940. 940. That's what I meant to say. And what days and times? Saturdays from 9 to 10 in the morning. Every Saturday at 9 to 10. Yeah. So. And it's a, an institution now in Fresno. It's been going on that long. You started it, right? I was, yeah, the very first host. And you're still the host? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you had brown hair or different yeah. color hair when you started. I forget now. Um, tell us about now. Today's the last day for this uh, thing you have going on. Tell us all about that. Okay. Well, as you started off with the show that, you know, this thing, was, this COVID thing was going to last two weeks. Yeah. And it kind of put us a lot of people on pause and hold. I, w I really wanted to wake up our industry and other industries. So during the month of September, our Fresno Association of Realtors has been doing some philanthropic things for our community. The first one, is, and it ends today, is called Habitat35.org. You can donate any amount of money to um, the, the Habitat for Humanity home build. The city of Clovis contributed a lot uh, a city lot over on Sunnyside near Bullard, mm. and that's where we're building the home. We have a goal of $35,000. We still need a few bucks to get there. So today's your chance. If you go to Habitat35.org, click on Donate Now, it'll tell you how to do that. And this building a home for a veteran. Yeah, it's a veteran build. And I got to admit. And the vet veterans going to be there hammering nails. Realtors are going to be hammering nails. Anybody yes. Anybody can do that, right? Oh, yeah. But yeah. it still costs some money to build it. Yeah, you still need the material and the supplies. Uh, and the Habitat for Humanity organization will vet out the, um, I guess that's a bad pun, to vet, 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 the vet it out. But they will pick the deserving family by going through all the applications. Yeah. And that family has to be able to put in 500 hours to help build it. Yeah. So they're not getting anything for free. Right. They're putting sweat equity yeah. into it also. Right. That's great. And uh, the Association of Realtors is, is raising money, your realtor members. and You don't have to be a realtor to get money, right? Anybody watching this can pitch in on this. So. Yes, anybody. Okay. And uh, we welcome anybody. I have a great story. Somebody walked in my office the other day, an elderly lady who walked to my office 
to make a check because she saw this on TV. I had sold her a home many years ago, and she wanted to be a part of it. Wow. And to me, that was the best donation, and it doesn't matter how many zeros yeah. are after the right. donation. It was That was from her heart. And speaking of from the heart, when I f first heard of this and that we could participate in it, and the fact that it's for a veteran, that got to me. My yeah. dad was a veteran. He passed away this year, and I'm, I'm doing this in his honor. Right. Now, guys, you and me, our age, not a lot of us were veterans, but we could still honor our fathers, and these people are out there yeah. giving up a lot right now in the last few years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyway, Habitat35.org. Was there another thing you're raising money for? Uh, or, or another? Well, another thing we're doing. We're doing this one for the kids. All right, so kids have their stuck at home yeah. and I remember when I was a kid stuck at home I didn't like it I wanted something to do so we have started what's called the homewards essay contest if uh, your child uh, grades 12 and under can go and um, submit a 150 word essay and the topic is what my home means to me so maybe that'll help build some appreciation in, in these kids for what they want. Now, also we realize they haven't been to school for a while. We want yeah. them to remember school. So there's a little bonus question at the end, 50 words or less, and that is what I like best about my school. Yeah. The way that you can do that is go to our website, FresnoRealtors.com, and scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see the Homewards Essay Contest. You click on that, and there's the format. Um, did you go to school in Fresno? I did. What high school? San Joaquin Memorial. Yeah. And that's where I learned to write a lot of essays in detention. <laughs> in detention. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people in Fresno, you see people, what high school did you, did you go to? We all identify that way. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. You, so these kids get to write a little essay what they like best about their school. They don't realize until they're about 50 or 60 that... We're going to identify with our schools when they're that age. So. Right. Now, there's a s several other things that our association has done during the month of September because this is our big push to help our community. But we realize the Creek Fire has a lot of, um, a lot of victims there. So we have made a pretty good-sized donation to um, the Creek Fire, uh, the Wildfire Fund. Uh, we also participated in the Garb Bennett Community Food Bank uh, fundraiser. And, you know, we're going to have to give our way out of this pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a lot of people, surprisingly, that have money right now. I think everybody's out of work, but people got a big stimulus check, these big unemployment checks. People in the real estate industry are selling houses really fast. So it's great that we still, even though we're kind of looking like we're in a little recession, we still have money to give. Yeah, yeah, and, and and that's, I know there's some that are really struggling because this uh, pandemic hit them opposite. The pandemic, though, has also helped certain industries. Yeah. So if you have it in your heart and you have it in your ability, participate. And, and you can participate by giving money to Habitat35.org, or if you have no money but you have a little time, it, your your kids do they can get in on the homewards essay contest homewards essay yeah anybody can do that from home yeah. you don't have to go yeah. out and get involved in it do that from home even I, I turned in one I, I had to kind of lie about my, my <laughs> age but <laughs> well listen uh, uh, Don Scordino uh, president of the Fresno Association of Realtors Realtors give to the community all the time that's what they're all about really and oh, yeah. uh, well, we're, we're in a service industry yeah. Are you much familiar with the tower? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see our monitor, but if you look behind us, we're in the tower district. Uh, we see the, uh, the old uh, Locks Bakery there, tower market, right out our window. Um, Don Scardino, last thoughts? Anything else you want our viewers to know? Yeah, we're all going to get through this, right. um, these tough times. And let's remember to share with others when we can. That's what the realtors are trying to do and be a good example to the community. Right. And... Um, Thank you. And just I'm going to close by saying not only is he president of the Fresno Association of Realtors, but every Saturday on 940 a.m. Is it 9 a.m.? Yeah, from 9 a.m. to 10. Welcome home radio and hear all about real estate in Fresno. Yes. Thank you, Don. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.